But um, I just wanted to go in on this because this is a video that I'll probably end up chopping up later. But man, uh, hopefully y'all are doing good this morning. If you're tuning in after the live, shout out to you. Grand rising, early morning, whatever it is that that you go by. Um, but yeah, it is an interesting time, man. Like, I don't know if y'all have been feeling it, but these energies the last couple of days have been crazy. And the reason being because of that is because apparently there is this solar storm that happened on 7-Eleven. And what that means is that, you know, the sun was in cancer and there was a, a new moon in cancer. And so basically what it is, is um, shout out to KT the Arch Degree. He was posting this on his. It says a solar storm may fry your phone and internet, but liberate your genes through cosmic download. Um, sounds like a formulation for me are you ready for your nervous your neurons to fire and subsequent patterns forming into rhythmic chords and octaves sounding off equating to neuro jazz Woo! a song of alignment that constantly plays so that way your cells get dance producing lift in your soul be open to the stars and the stability the earth uh, of the earth to reach them happy growth and transformation Ooh, let me tell you, man, um, I've definitely been feeling it. It's very interesting because, you know, there, during this time, recently, like I think on 7-Eleven or something like that, or the day after, my internet cut off, and I think I went like a whole day without it and then had it back on. And I was using my phone and the internet on there was just being like super trash and I ended up using all my data. And I'm just all like, oh dang. Um, but other than that, energy wise, like it's been this combination of like a whole bunch of, um, I, I, would, I don't know if it would be stress or like I just felt a lot just these last couple of days. It seems like today, the energy completely shifted and that kind of goes into what I wanted to really go in on is this um, Chiron retrograde and what that is. So it happens today. Um, so what is it? Um, so Chi the Chiron is the wounded healer and wants to help heal from trauma. <clears throat> now it says this was from Allure.com. Regardless of how it works, astrology has a way of pointing out areas of life that need tending to. Chiron retrograde, which begins Thursday, July 15th, and ends on Sunday, December 19th, so this is affecting us for the rest of the year, asks us to finally deal with unresolved trauma. Chiron is a comet that's known as the wounded healer. In Greek mythology, he is a centaur, who was a healer and teacher who tragically could not heal himself. However, Chiron is wise, independent, and lives on in lore and astrology to help us take care of our own wounds so that way we don't fall to the same fate. Now, the position of Chiron in your chart, your own personal chart, so this is my whole thing. Um, well, let me finish this. Uh, help you address the areas of life in which you may have experienced trauma. It sits in between the centric Uranus and strict Saturn, helping us balance independence with responsibility. When the comet goes retrograde, it's an opportunity to finally address those old wounds so that way you may move forward living your best and healthiest life. Chiron retrograde starts July 15th and ends Sunday, December 19th. The entire retrograde takes place in the sign of Aries, a bold fire sign, and Aries is the first sign of the zodiac, so this brave energy can help you finally start therapy, leave a toxic relationship, or recognize the importance of self-care. It's funny because I just made a skit on an ex to get your toxic, um, a gift to get your toxic ex. Like, sometimes like I'll get certain things without, like I'll feel certain energies without 
reading this stuff. And when I read it, then I'm, for me, that's confirmation of this stuff. Now, people may not believe in astrology and energies and different things like that. My thing is, I'm a Capricorn, you know, like I'm very logical. So when it comes to a lot of the stuff that people call mystery and mystifying and definitely different things like that, trust me, like, I'm the person who, you know, looks at what's here, you know, but there is another side of life. That's only one aspect that I logically know that what we see is only one portion of what actually is, you know, and that's not being mystified. That's not, you know, being, you know, whatever people may say in regards to that. I go about a lot of this stuff in a logical way, you know? So when people, you know, shit on astrology or different things like that, you know, I feel like they are, you know, shitting on the general aspect of things, which is, in, which is a small percent. You know, when people go and look up their horoscopes and different things like that, those are general. Those are like, you have to know your, you know, you have to know your chart and all these different alignments. Now, you know, a real astrologer is going to be able to look at your chart and break everything down for you. You know, it's not like they'll be able to let you know how this affected you in your childhood and how it may have affected you and you yourself there's no way for them to know there's certain themes that play out or that you're introduced to, you know, when it comes to a lot of this stuff and the way it plays out. <clears throat> so let me look at this here. So it says that the world can be a cruel place. And as a result, many of us have trauma, whether it's generational stemming from a sexual assault or other pain points. Even if you don't feel deep wounds, many of us are recovering from more trauma than we realize due to the pandemic. Chiron Retrograde in 2021 gives us a chance to heal in order to live the happiest and healthiest life possible. Curious how it affects your sign? Directly keep reading. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave. I'm going to, you know, after this, I'll make a comment and I'll like include this actual link so you can see how it affects you but what I want to read is you know my sun moon and rising you know and how this has personally played out in my life so far how I can kind of understand how this could even though this is general I can then take the general aspect of it and literally talk about like the way that I was saying with the solar flare and like my internet and different things like that that's aligning you know with a lot of this stuff that's going on it's just all like this isn't a time to be so attached to electronics you know this is a time to get some sun this is a time okay uh, my moon sign is virgo so it says you're a sign that's prone to anxiety dear virgo which is so funny that i have a cbd business with pre-rolls that help with anxiety <laughs> Uh, as the healer of the Zodiac, you may feel compelled to spend your time helping others during this retrograde, but be aware of taking on others' woes. Try prioritizing yourself for once, and if you can, take a nice vacation. You don't want to end up like Chiron, who helped others but left himself neglected. Now, how this plays out in my life. So my, my moon sign, which has to deal with my thoughts, how I process feelings, different things like that. Um, is in Virgo. So I can definitely say that how this plays out, you know, there is a level of anxiety that I do feel in general, uh, just being that I'm old, like I'm very in my head when it comes to thoughts, thinking of ideas, you know, different things like that. It's, you know, a place that I love indulging in is my own mind, you know, but that could be good and bad, you know. And so in that, yes, you know, there's a lot that I do try to do when it comes to, you know, being a healer, whether that's being a space, 
knowing that, oh, the spaces that I create, you know, create this healing energy for people or my presence or, you know, my inspiration or, you know, different things like that. And I have to realize that I do have to, you know, put myself first so that way I could be able to show up fully for y'all. You know, like it's um, when it comes to working for yourself, it is very difficult, you know, especially when you're doing multiple things. Like I have what I officially have my LLC under for is for my multimedia company, Daptro Creations. And then as far as the composition wellness solution with my CBD. So those are what I officially have like my LLC under, but then I also have the group, the Black Riders of San Antonio, and then I have the whole CBD fair market, you know, and then I have my podcast and then I have my music. So, and that's not like, this is what I chose, you know, and and anything that you're doing when you're starting it off, when you're creating from scratch, when you're like the one that's like building it up, it's difficult in the beginning and it's difficult in general. Like it was funny, I was looking up the creator of the barcode and I was talking to my friend Kid Yo and it was just all like, yo, 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 what up, Benny? And you know, I was sitting up there saying that I was reading the information, like the origin of the barcode, and I was just all like, the guy who created it, the barcode at the time that it was created, it didn't even pop off till like, it didn't find commercial success till 20 years later, you know? And then we see where the barcode is now as far as the QR code. Hey, Benny Man, I moved back to San Antonio you know, I definitely want to link up. Are you still at El Luchador and stuff like that? Um, definitely, definitely hit me up later. Hit up my DM. Um, I'll hit you up as well. But I definitely want to link up. There's like lots of cool things. Um, but yeah, the, the whole barcode thing. So when it comes to, you know, helping others and building up your business and different things like that, when you work for someone else, you are already in a pre-created system that took years, if not decades, to create to get to that point. And when you're starting your business, you're literally like that business when they were starting. Like, you know, there is a lot that it got to as far as for Amazon to get to where it is now. You know, it was a lot as far as Facebook to get to where it is now. And that's after it was released. You know, a, a lot of these things you hear about later on, like in taking the consideration, uh, I read this article and it was talking about how in 2021, over 66% of the music that's being streamed is actually older music. So 66% of music that people are playing in the U.S. isn't even new releases, you know? And people can say, well, the pandemic and everything like that. But here's the thing, artists, popular artists, artists that were signed, artists that aren't signed, they were still dropping music. People were still dropping brand new music. But even with that, the majority, over half of people are listening to older stuff. Now, you can look at it in the sense of, well, you know, when you listen to something new, there's, even if you listen to it but so many times, usually you listen to a playlist that consists of older songs, you know, like, and that's just how people are creating their playlists. I mean, that's how I look at songs. That's how I look at YouTube. You know, if I'm looking on something on YouTube, you know, I'm usually looking up an older song, you know? So what that makes me think about when it comes to music and music release, especially during this time of content, content is king, content is queen, you know, like, it's such an easy thing right now to go in your older bag and pull stuff out to the current. You know, that's why I started reacting to a lot of my older songs that were like 
plus 10 years old, you know? And just being able to be like, oh man, like this is, I came a long way type of thing. Um, but all of that plays out into what's going on in the sky. You know, today marks when Chiron, the wounded healer, goes retrograde. And so, you know, like I was saying with the Virgo aspect of things, that's how it's affected in my moon sign. So with my rising or ascendant sign being in Libra, you know, the Chiron retrograde turns your attention to your career. Um, and childhood trauma can affect how we spend our days. You know, are you happy with your work or, or are you ple people pleasing? You don't have to completely switch careers, but make sure to at least start a hobby that is for you and only you. So I was saying as far as like entrepreneurship, you know, it's so funny. Again, like it's, this is my rising sign. So the rising sign is pretty much when people first meet you, you know, and what it is that you're basically not necessarily doing during this life, uh, people can say like it's the mask you wear, different things like that. Some people look at your rising sign as your actual like zodiac sign to do horoscope. So uh, the rising sign is pretty you know important. So when it comes to the focus of my career, I can definitely say that one of my traumas that I have to deal with is the fact that you know money was a is was a you know, I didn't realize how like that affected me as a kid, as far as just, you know, the family circumstances, you know, we definitely had the things that we needed, which is all that, you know, matters. Um, but, you know, there's definitely, there was definitely times and energies as an adult that I realized in certain um, attachments, you know, to finances that, you know, it, you know, it plays out. And so not only that in my family, it's like, I'm like the, the, the first, like doing all of this stuff, not to have a business or anything like that, but in the, in the route in different ways that it is that I'm doing in my immediate family, as far as my mom, dad, sisters, um, nieces, different things like that. <clears throat> and so I have to heal the fact that I'm worthy of everything that's happening. I'm worthy, you know, of success. I'm worthy of me being rewarded for the work that I'm putting in. I'm worthy of the attention, you know, I'm worthy of, you know, these different things. But you know, this video that I was watching, it's understanding as a man, you take responsibility for who you influence and what you influence. And they was bringing up a scenario and he was asking this caller, he's just all like, you know, are you responsible for, you know, what happens between you and a woman if you let her know that you're you don't want a relationship and she's cool with that but you know you keep on hanging out with her in different things like that and the caller was just all like no you know she's an adult and i let her know from the jump that that's not what it is that i want so if she keeps coming around or catches feeling that's on her and what the person who owns the, that platform was saying was, no, that is your responsibility. Like, yes, that, that person takes account of he, what the guy with the dude of the platform was saying was that both things are true, you know, and they can exist and both be true. And he was saying that, no, you as a man are responsible for the fact that Yes, even though you told her that this isn't what it is that you wanted, you as a man have to know as far as what this can do to the person, you know, even though you said, you know, all these different things, you as a man have to say, well, if I go forth with this and we're just hanging out, 
there's a large possibility that one or both of us, you know, one or the other may catch feelings, you know, and I have to be conscious of that and be like, you know what, I already know that I don't want that with you. So just out of respect, you know, I can't, I can't really, I can't hang out with you and different things like that, you know, can't sleep, you know, with you, all of these different things, because even though I know that I've told you this, if you were to be hurt, that is my responsibility, that is my fault, you know, and the caller was kind of like, at the opposite angle, like, you know, hey, if I told her and she still, you know, that's on her, I relinquish all responsibility of that, you know, and this is, and so the guy on the platform was just like, okay, let me put it in a different way. Let's say that you have a well-known person who's seasoned in the music industry, you know, is he responsible for the artist, you know, the artist signing bad contracts, you know, because, hey, they're adults, you know, like they could, you know, make their own decisions or do you take responsibility for the fact that you know the industry and if there's any, if there's anyone who's going to be able to make sure that they get a good deal, you know, is going to be you because you've went through it and they're naive in the situation. They don't have the experience in the situation. So you as a man, you know, take responsibility for that as far as with your artists. And the guy, the caller was all like, okay, yeah, I understand that, but that's not the same as relationships. And what the guy on the platform was saying is that, yes, it is the same, it is, it applies to everything. And for me, it makes me think of this quote that I heard, and it was all like, how you do anything is how you do everything. And sometimes people don't want to accept it. They're just all like, well, over here, you know, the context and, you know, the environment is different. So, you know, I do this, this and this. But when you get to a very core aspect of things, yes, how you do anything is how you do everything. So if you're consistent in, you know, one thing in a positive way, then you're going to be consistent in everything like that in a positive way. You know, if you don't take responsibility in relationships, that does play out in business in some way, shape or form, you know, and vice versa. If you do these things in business, it plays out, you know, with as far as you're in your relationships, in your personal relationships. And I've seen this, you know, so that's why I can look at it and be like, okay, yeah, no, I, I understand that, you know, and then let's get into the Capricorn. Okay, so this is my sun sign. This is what, when you put in your birthday and you're just all like, what side do I, you know, this is that sign, that's your sun sign. You know, and this is the aspect that shines the brightest. These are the, you know, the traits. And if you look at everything in a holistic fashion, you know, these are going to be the traits that shine the brightest. These are going to be. So when you look at me on a holistic aspect and on in my natal chart, I actually have a lot of Capricorn placements. So when you have, I think, three or four or more is considered a stellium, which is basically like, well, this is definitely what you are, like a Capricorn, you know, or this or that. And so my that that's the that's the general shine, you know. So uh, it says you so you work so hard, Capricorn, that you sometimes overlook your own needs. I'm definitely neglectful of that. But let's be real, you need to relax, take time off, trust that the world will keep turning if you step away from your career for a moment. If you do the work to take care of unresolved issues, you will be more productive in the long run. So <clears throat> I can definitely feel this. 
And I would definitely feel like this is the brightest aspect, you know, of uh, brightest thought, you know, that's going on that kind of plays out into everything else. You know, yes, if I step away, your crew, like, uh, the world will keep spinning, you know, but in my typical Capricorn fashion. But what about the buggy? <laughs> but life isn't about that. You know, and it's just, it's interesting learning these things. CBD. It's interesting learning these things and finding the balance because it's just all like, you can't get out of the business aspect of things. But it is a holistic aspect, you know, it's not just business, business, business. There's an aspect of business, 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 but there's other parts of the business. So I just wanted to get on for a little bit and, you know, chop it up. Shout out to Benny. Hopefully we chop it up soon. Um, get prepared for this expansion tour, y'all. You know, wish us, you know, safe travels and, um, you know, abundance. You know, get a bunch of contacts and sell out of all the product that we bring yeah you know so represented san antonio texas out there um but yeah man y'all enjoy y'all day peace coming back to earth with a couple chips of wisdom that might take a few decades to the code so i better get the work on me for a second yes it because it was already written or was it is it all predetermined or devised by your hand? No need for second guessing when you're sticking to the plan. No need for second guessing when you're sticking to the plan. Is it all predetermined or devised by your hand? No need for second guessing when you're sticking to the plan. No need for second guessing when you're sticking to the plan. Take control of what you can't control. Break out this handheld, hell made digital. Behold the pale horses. I'm falling down the rabbit.